Hello, my fellow Keyblade Builders, and welcome back to another video. I am the Kingdom Key, and in today's video for you all, I kind of want to go over five things that you should do before you play Kingdom Hearts 4. Now, yes, I know Kingdom Hearts 4 isn't out, there is no official release date for it as of yet, and there is no, you know, confirmed time when this will even come out. There's not even a release year window yet, but I thought maybe this is a good video to do to give you guys some kind of refresher as to what you can do to prepare yourself for the anticipated Kingdom Hearts 4. So let's jump right into it. Coming in at number one, I would highly recommend that you buy yourself Kingdom Hearts 1.5 plus 2.5 and Kingdom Hearts 2.8 and Kingdom Hearts 3 for your PlayStation 4 and or PC but I would not recommend it for the Switch because the cloud version is just... Yeah, nobody wants to touch that thing with a 10 foot pole and you don't want to be lagging like a guy on the first ever PC built. Yeah, that, that's what the cloud version is. So I recommend you do that or buy the story so far or the all-in-one package, which comes with all of the collection, including Kingdom Hearts 3. Uh, this will allow you to watch certain games cutscenes, for example, 358 over two days, Indian Cross Back Cover, and a few other ones like Recoded. That will allow you to catch up and familiarize yourself with the story. Coming in at number four, I would highly recommend that you go on ahead and look at the extensive long lore that is 100 years before the events of Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, and that being Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. Now that game has an awful, awful lot of lore when it comes to needing to understand what we will be looking at and diving into when it comes to Kingdom Hearts 4, and more specifically, who the foretellers are, and who the Master of Masters is, and who Lu Shu is. You will need to absolutely know about the events that transpired in Kingdom Hearts Union Cross, as there is a lot of lore. I even did a video explaining how Maleficent returned in Kingdom Hearts 2, and nobody knew about it because it actually was missing quite a lot of lore details that nobody knew about until Kingdom Hearts Union Cross came out. So you will absolutely need to look at the cutscenes for Kingdom Hearts Union Cross, or watch someone explain it. And going into that as well, you will need to then play the game that comes somewhere after Missing Link, well, directly after Missing Link, Kingdom Hearts Dark Road. That has a lot of lore to do with Xehanort's upbringing and how Xehanort kind of grew up and why he turned from the light to darkness and how he ended up on the path that he went through in the Xehanort saga that we saw transpire. So absolutely go on ahead and check out those cutscenes or play it for yourself, especially Dark Road, you can play that one for yourself, you can no longer actually play Kingdom Hearts Union Cross, unfortunately, so watch the cutscenes for those, or play Dark Road yourself. Coming in at number three, you will absolutely want to and need to play Kingdom Hearts Missing Link, the new mobile game that should be releasing sometime this year, hopefully, and it will actually explain a bit of the story and Tetsuya Nomura himself has said in interviews to further understand Kingdom Hearts 4, you will need to play Missing Link and get to know the new story and plot lines from Kingdom Hearts Missing Link that will transpire and shed some light upon Kingdom Hearts 4. So you should definitely go on ahead and do that. Number two, I would highly recommend that you buy yourselves the Kingdom Hearts Ultimania as it has a lot of extensive information about the games itself and also has notes that the characters have left. It kind of feels like a journal thing, there's even certain things that Lushu himself has said and other characters have mentioned like how they felt. For example, there was a page in there about Riku and his character and the character files and uh, yeah, so I'd recommend definitely buying the Ultimania and the character files because it does tell you things that the characters have felt throughout certain scenes in the game. There was a scene with Riku in Kingdom Hearts 2 where he was blown away by how powerful Sora is and how Sora always seems to be able to continue and that Riku admitted that he was always jealous of that. Um, it's kind of a bigger translation as to how he was feeling and what we saw him talk about Sora admitting that he was always jealous that he had Sora for a friend and that Sora could never take that away from him and that was something that he could never copy. So you know, but it was kind of like a bigger confession and you get that 
in the Kingdom Hearts character files and the Ultimania as well explains a lot of stuff. So go on ahead and get the Kingdom Hearts 3 Ultimania and Kingdom Hearts character files. And number one, this is something that I think everybody should do. While you go out throughout the series, I reckon it's important for you all to kind of put and piece together your own theories as to how you think Kingdom Hearts 4 will come about and what I mean by come about, what will transpire in Kingdom Hearts 4 from all the information we have acquired and will acquire from the games and from Kingdom Hearts Missing Link when it comes out. So there are five things that you can do while you wait for Kingdom Hearts 4. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Do you agree? Do you disagree with my list? Was there anything that you would add or replace and put in this list instead? Let me know what you all think. I hope that you all enjoyed the list. Do me a favor if you're new here, why not subscribe? I do a lot of Kingdom Hearts content. There is never Kingdom Hearts content lacking on this channel. Also, please, if you can, leave a like on the video if you've enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Are you hyped for Kingdom Hearts 4? Are you hyped for Kingdom Hearts Missing Link? Are you hyped for both like myself? Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I'll catch you all in the next one. Until then, feel free to subscribe. I hope that you all have a great day. And uh, may your heart be your guiding key. Spread positivity to yourself and kindness towards others. And continue to be your best self as much as you can. Remember, life is a journey, not a sprint. Take care, everyone. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.